Good morning, Golden Eagles. This is Miss Cash with your morning prayer, mission statement, and pledge. Let's pause for a moment to prepare our hearts as we read our mission statement and begin prayer. Borgate Catholic High School assists students in discovering and developing their God-given potential through a college preparatory curriculum and the teachings of Jesus Christ. Welcome to the second week of Advent. As you can see, two candles on our Advent wreath are lit, signifying that we're already two weeks in to our preparation for Christmas. Over the weekend, while we were gone, the days on our Jesse tree included the stories of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all men of faith who listened to God's word and obeyed his voice. Today's theme for our Jesse tree is Joseph, one of the 12 sons of Jacob. Joseph was betrayed by his brothers and sold into slavery in Egypt. God used that occurrence, as awful as it was, however, to later bring salvation to Joseph's entire family. The symbol for Joseph is a multicolored coat given to him by his father as a sign of his favor. I could go into more detail about Joseph, but today is a special feast day, the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. The Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception is the feast day in the church where we celebrate Mary, who was conceived without original sin in the womb of Anne, her mother. God preserved Mary from all stain of sin so that she could be a holy temple and ark of the new covenant, Jesus who entered into the messy family tree to save us from sin and its consequences of death. So for today's prayer, let's hear the gospel for today. Jumping ahead from the story of salvation history in the Old Testament, we're gonna get a little sneak peek of what God does through Mary, what all of this on the Jesse tree is leading up to. And in today's gospel, we hear Mary listening to God's word just as the men and the women on our Jesse tree have done, preparing the way, Mary too listens to God's word and gives her response. So let's listen to this gospel with attentive ears, knowing that just like Joseph, just like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God wants to speak to you personally, just as he spoke to Our Lady. And I invite you to open your hearts to hear what God wants to say to you through this gospel, through our prayer today, through our all-school mass today. God has something he wants to say to you. And what will our response be? So let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? The angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. 
praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Imagine, you're going around the house, minding your own business, and all of a sudden an angel appears to you and tells you that God has a special plan for your life. Mary was called by God to be the mother of Jesus. She was free in her choice to say yes or no to the call. And even though she couldn't predict everything that would happen, she said yes. And because of her yes, she became the mother of Jesus and our mother too. Mary shows us that our greatest potential comes through surrender and trust in God. It's not about what we can do. It's about allowing God to do what only he can do in our lives. When we say yes to God, he makes happen what even seems impossible in our own eyes. God wants to speak his love over us and completely transform our lives with that love. While he might not send an angel like he did to Our Lady, he will send his word to you. He might speak to you through this video. He might speak to you through mass today, maybe through a friend, maybe through your own personal time of prayer. It's not if he will speak to you, he will. The if is will you listen. He has something he wants to say to you. So today, let's say with Mary, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. God, I choose to trust you. I choose to wait on your word, to listen to your voice, and may it be done to me according to your word, for I trust that you have a good plan, a great plan for my life. So let us pray. Mary, you who so trustingly said yes to the Father, and by your yes allowed yourself and the whole world to be transformed by the love of God, help us also to listen to God's voice and to say yes to what he speaks over us today and always, trusting in him and in the good plan he has for our lives. Amen. Mary, hope of the wise, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great day. God bless you.